G'day scrappers, breaker breaker, 10-4 good buddy. So here we've got a hoarder's collection of CB radios mostly. They all look like CB radios to me. Um, there's over 80 of them. There's a few behind there I couldn't stack up. Uh, there's heaps of them. Um, they're all different brands. There's some familiar like um, Electrophone and Realistic uh, and Uniden. Um, and then there's also, uh, it looks like a Marine type uh radios here and yeah so i don't know what to do with them um i thought i was going to oh you know keep one of each <laughs> um as a uh a bit of a collectible thing but uh they're um you know there's just too many of them and i think that they could be useful for someone else uh, so let me just zoom in a bit there um yeah I, I just don't know really what to do uh do with them so i was hoping maybe i can find someone uh preferably here in melbourne that um could do something with them that could, you know could uh you know create their own collection or they they might be interested in you know some of them uh there are a few that don't have uh, casings and have been opened up they've probably been used for repairs or um, but still uh, you know in a couple of them the circuit boards are a bit broken so um, yeah they might still be okay for yeah parts I suppose but there's some real old ones like this one here a, a fanfare 100 PL um, roadhound <laughs> uh, this one is a, a courier maybe spartan uh nice old dial but this fanfare one has got a really nice old dial um oh yeah uh there's just so many uh shakespeare and uh leopard mark ii and uh this one looks like a all transistor it looks kind of like a uh, a car radio um but it's kind of like a CB. Um, a few of these little Unidens, uh, probably four of them, and uh, this older one there. Um, yeah, quite a, quite a few Uniden uh, matching ones. Realistic. A lot of these, or these are electric electrophones, and you know, um, Pierce Simpson, Hatardi. American Electronics uh, and the Stingray uh, Marine type. Uh, what else is there? This one's unusual one. And General Electric. Uh, sorry, <laughs> Alpha International. These look nice, old school. Um, yeah, there's, there's some really unusual brands and Philips, Hornet 2s, what's this, uh, Fieldmaster, Plessy, Wattmaster. So, I don't know, Shakespeare, yeah, I think I showed that. If anyone's sort of interested in, in a collection like this, and uh, I have no idea what it would possibly be worth. Uh, like I said, there's over 80 here, and uh, I might even come up with a couple of more before the the job's done. Also got some of these um, walkie-talkie kind of things. I don't know if they're any use. Sanyo, a realistic. You know, it's just hard to tell whether they're completely broken. PCM. Uh, Pace CB150 solid state transceiver, it's 5 watt, 5 channel, sideband electronics, then weird things like 
emergency radio, Pierce Simpson. Uh, that's that's really strange. And uh, again, a citizen band emergency radio, but it's missing bits. This one is uh, really light. I think this is more like a toy. Uh, 27 megahertz. It says Morse code. It actually actually makes some sound. I don't know. Oh. Yeah, I'm not sure about that one, whether it's just a toy, a Morse code kind of toy. Uh, the Sanyos are, are very heavy, solid radios. Oh. Uh, this one, the pace is not very heavy. That's heavy. And the Realistic looks like just a cheap one. But it's mostly uh, uh, about these. And I've got quite a few of these handsets. Um, Electrophone, some old school one. Yeah, I've got... Uh, a few of them spare as well and a few more smaller CBs and mixed types there as well so yeah the idea or the point of this video was just to sort of uh, get this out there and trying to get it to the right person that can do something with it or that might know someone that can do something with over 80 old school mostly CB radios I think these Uniden Pro 510XLs 510 and a 520 yeah two of each they might be they look kind of more modern um, yeah they might be cheap anyway uh, but some of them are really old school uh, yeah, maybe they could be used for restoring like for parts like all the knobs original knobs uh, circuit boards uh, uh, Components on the circuit boards for other things So let us know um, In the description you'll find my email address if you like you can contact me and uh, Yeah, if you're interested, you know, uh, obviously I I, I, I I want to get some value for them. I don't have time to list these on eBay or anywhere else. So if worse comes to worse, I'll just pack them away and I'll slowly I'll clean them up and start listing them on eBay. But I'm just wondering, anyone wants them as is? There's things like, you know, cords, cart, hanging off them, um, all kinds of things. As I mentioned, there's some uh, of these older ones. There's some with completely missing covers. And one of them, I noticed, it was almost looks like looked like it was stomped on, but they all look kind of mostly complete from the outside, apart from um, missing these and um, yeah, and uh, pretty dirty condition, and so it certainly needs a good cleanup. But it would be a shame for these to just be scrapped out for uh, base metal recovery. Mostly, there's not much gold recovery anything in this. Uh, so yeah, I don't want to scrap them out. I'm sure there must be someone in Victoria, um, if not uh, interstate, that uh, can, can get someone to uh, pick them up if we work out a, a decent price. Like I said, over 80, so there is some value to there. But uh, anyway, just thought I'd put it out there, guys. Oh, since I'm here, I might as well go Give you a closer look at each one so these were the ones from the back so i just want to scan down in case there's uh someone might find an individual one that they might you know really like or want um, but i'm not big on shipping stuff out so Especially, I won't be shipping any of this out to overseas. It's just too expensive to ship. Um, and just, I don't have time to package stuff up and go to the post office. So, just want to... <laughs> so, I'm just trying to go through every every one I hope I'm not too close but hopefully it's close enough oh. 
there's a piece of cord so yeah if you're in Melbourne or in Victoria I'm in west of Melbourne just over the Westgate Bridge uh, 10 minutes from the city and if you're interstate ideally if you could you wanted all of this or something uh, you might arrange with a friend that's in Victoria to come and pick them up and uh, it's a nice Philips FM828 not that I know anything about CB radios as you can probably tell um, so like I said there's over 80 of these things plus the uh, little handheld th things so I hope that's all you're going to need the last batch Unidens Pro 520s and Pro 510s Pedalex. Don't know what that is. That's the one that is it? A couple of them just look like car radios. National Panasonic down the bottom. All right. Keep scrapping. Have fun. And, uh, and I'll catch you uh, real soon. Don't forget to contact me if you're interested or you want to uh, ask any questions about these. But in a couple of days' time, I've got to get rid of them off this table. So I've got to pack them away. So uh, let me know.